what's up youtube so today i'm finally trying these pickles with my mama so which one you want to try this one is um this one is ghetto punch and this one is i think this one is blue raspberry but she called it bomba or blue something is like something and then this one is pineapple pineapple yeah nope okay i'm gonna try pineapple want to try pineapple yes. i'm gonna try them all but i'm excited also, this is just a random weekend vlog, so we're just trying pickles. I'm also making chicken thighs tonight and french fries. We don't got no vegetables because yeah, we because we we ain't got no potatoes either. So I was like, we can make french fries. I decided on french fries already. So we eating chicken thighs and french fries. Dang, these pickles That's is hard to open. That's college food, y'all. It ain't college. Ain't food. no real move. Who eating chicken thighs in college? Oh. Yeah, I guess you got. <laughs> that was open. No, it ain't. I mean, it's ooh, this smell like cool ooh lay. It look like cool lay too. Why is this? This so gonna hard? be sweet. You know me, I like me a little sour pickle. This is hard. Oh my God, girl. I was trying to. I can't open this. Water. I mean, it's our pickles. We're having a hard time here. We should have did this before we start the video. I can't open this. But I taste that Kool-Aid. This some this some Kool-Aid for real. Yeah. Alright, try to get that one on. Okay. So we got the shit and slobbered all on it. It's my pickles, anyways. I don't want to taste that kind. So we got it's cold. pineapple. Ooh, this smells good. Get we got pineapple. pineapple. And I believe this is blue raspberry, but she called it bomba. There you go. You got it open? Yes. I think I want to do the ghetto punch first. Oh, it smells good. Which one you trying first? Pineapple. pineapple. All right. Get your pineapple. Oh, this joint is red. Oh, my goodness. You ain't going to try the, the ghetto punch? Look at that. Try not to make faces, y'all, because it's probably really good, but again, okay. Put it in the camera. Look at that. Oh, it look like a regular pickle. It's just pineapple. Yes, right. but it's really, really bon yellow. Bon appetit. Mmm. This is sweet. Is it good? It is crunchy. It's really crunchy. I don't think it's going to be... This is really good. Really? Let me try pineapple. It's like this really tastes like Kool-Aid. But does it still taste? Uh, mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Does it still taste like a pickle though? To you? Tastes like Kool-Aid. That still tastes like a pickle, but it has like a little bit of sweet to it. And I really could eat the whole bag. Alright, let me honestly. I don't know if I want to taste that red one. Is too red. Oh yeah. You see what I'm saying? This is good. That's really good. I, I like can eat one. all of them. Order me some of those. Okay. I don't. I don't. This, this is, is too. This blue. dude. I see what you're saying. It tastes. It still tastes like a pickle, but that it got the still pineapple. Tastes taste. like a pickle, but you could taste the pineapple too. Oh, this is good. I don't. Let I'm me not, taste the blue I'm, one. I'm gonna pass on these. That's, <laughs> that's too blue. I have a problem with food coloring and stuff like that. I feel like that's just too much. Cause what's oh, wow. what food is blue? That's too blue. It's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be blue raspberry. I don't care. That's food color. Or bomba me. lemonade maybe. I don't care. Ghetto punch. Mm -mm, I don't want that. These are good. It tastes like blue Kool Aid. No, nah, it tastes like blue raspberry. I like the pineapple better though. These are more like pickles. She like, has a mango. She has a mango flavor. I'll probably taste and that. And a spicy mango flavor that I want to try. I, don't I, want I like spicy. You know, I like hot pickles. This is the best out of the three, I think. And I, I'm saying that, and I didn't taste the other mm -hmm. <laughs> I think. I really like this. I'm such this a. This still tastes like a pickle. And it's I like the pineapple sweet. one, too. It, but, it has a little bit of the. Um, 
the pineapple taste to it, but it still yeah. tastes like a pickle. I'm not really a fan of sweet pineapples, but right. It's not like I don't like it, but I prefer a I prefer a hot pineapple, like a spicy pineapple. But the fact that it's a pickle, you I mean, still, not pineapple, a pickle. pickle. But the fact that it's pickles, you still want to have that pickle taste, right? Yeah, because the the ghetto punch one tastes like uh, Kool Aid. Like it don't. It, yeah, I it just it literally that. just tastes like Kool Aid with a crunch. But it ain't nasty. Like she know how to make Kool Aid. <laughs> like it's not I bad. I hope so. I hope <laughs> you can make Kool Aid. I but yeah, the the pineapple is definitely my favorite because it's still like she said, it tastes like a pickle, but it got the pineapple taste. Yeah, I hope that you I know like how to make Kool Aid and you you don't mess up Kool Aid. That's a problem. Flavored pickles. I like these. I'm gonna definitely get the spicy mango though. Oh wait, I thought you said the mango wasn't spicy. They have she has a she has a regular mango and then a a spicy mango. Oh, so order me some of these. Okay, I got you. These are good. All right. See you in the next clip. I'm going to be making chicken thighs. I'm going to let her handle that. I cook better stuff than that. Cooking with Kate Ressa. I just want to get that hook in there. Thank you. Not Love you, baby girl. Not you down in my cooking not, to promote, oh, to promote your Hold cooking on. channel. Because I know how to cook. Cooking. I know how to she cook. She learned from the best. My baby girl can cook. Because let's talk about who make the best mac and cheese. Your Me. mother. I taught her how to make mac and cheese. And, and mine and better. she does a very, very good job. But she learned from the best. Anyways, come on, give your mother some props. That she know how well. to cook. Okay, but my mac and cheese is better. With Kate Ressa. Yeah, follow her channel. On all, but all we all networks, all social media. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm about to make these chicken thighs and French fries. Thank you for cooking your mother dinner. You're welcome. All right, but these pickles are good. Yes, they are. See ya. They stay ya. All right, now so we're about to season these chicken thighs. I just patted them dry. Raw chicken thighs. I got on gloves because I don't like touching raw chicken. Get you a little olive oil, pray it over, pray it over, of course, you know. All right, put a little oil in there. Mix it up like this, like so. All right. So now okay. we got the oil. I'm gonna be using that. some garlic herb, a little bit of slap your mammy, some Mrs. Dash, and some lemon pepper. I don't be measuring nothing. I just go by what it look like. If, if it look like all pieces of the chicken in the season, then boom, there it is. And then after that, a little touch, another touch of oil, just a little bit. And then we gonna mix this up and then get my gloves. Then we mix, and then we mix, and then we mix, and then we mix. Mix. Make sure every piece of the chicken, sometimes you might have to rub them together because one chicken got more than the other. Season your joint. There we go. Get some of that seasoning. And these thighs got skin on it, so we really got to make sure it's seasoned. I'm gonna rub this one on top of that one. There we go. Get that seasoning up in there. Boom. All right. So now I like my seasoning to sit on my chicken for at least 30 minutes. Right now, it is, what time is it? It's 8 o'clock. So, I'll be back at 8.30 to start cooking this. Boom. Seasoned chicken. Every piece of the chicken got to look like this. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. I got my chicken. 
And now we're about to cook it on the stove. So we're gonna put it on, I'm gonna put it on like six. Got me some old fashioned. It ain't really old fashioned, but this is just bacon grease. But we're gonna put this in the bottom of the pan. Cause we're gonna pan sear these, um, what are these things called? Chicken thighs. Oh, this is a big spoon. Boom. All right. Get your bacon grease. Boom. Let that melt. Put this back. I feel like every black household should have some leftover bacon grease. If you're eating bacon, just say that bacon grease. You can use it for a rainy day. Cause we're gonna put we're gonna put all four of these chicken thighs in this grease. And let this heat up. Get our first chicken thigh. And we put it, put the skin down like that. Skin down. Skin down. And say all four of these thighs should fit. Skin down. All right. All right. All right. So we got the four chicken thighs. Let me get the camera closer. We got the four chicken thighs in the pan. And we're going to let that heat up once it starts, you know, sizzling and stuff. We're going to flip it over. While this is sitting here, I'm going to cut up some onions because after this cooks for a little bit i'm gonna put it in the oven with onions and a little bit of lemon juice all right them chicken thighs is going i'm about to cut this onion All right, got the onion cut up. See the chicken going. Give me. All right, I have my oven preheating to 350. Still a little light skin, so I'm gonna do it for a couple more minutes on this side. A few moments later. All right. All right, we're getting golden. And while this cooks, I'm gonna put the onions. Actually, I'm gonna separate these a little bit. Put the onions on top. And I like onions, so it's gonna be a lot.
So we're actually going to turn the heat down. Get some lemon juice. And then not too much. Let that sit for a little bit and then we're gonna put it in the oven all right so we have the oven preheated to 350 now we're gonna put this in the oven for about 20 minutes then i'm gonna take it out because we're also gonna do gravy so once this is in here for about 20 minutes we're gonna get some flour and some water and mix that up all right, so it's been about 15 minutes. So we got five more minutes. So I'm checking it now. The chicken look good. So what we need now for the gravy is I got some chicken broth, some flour, and then I got a little mason jar to put the flour in. But we're going to mix that with some water and then pour that over the chicken thighs and put them back in the oven for about another 10 minutes but they got five more minutes in there now so by the time i get done with the flour and everything it should be good my mama told me how to make gravy so if you want to learn how to make other stuff you could go to her youtube channel i'll probably tag it somewhere in this video and watch her videos i think her late her last video she made she made like salmon and um like it wasn't stuffed salmon it was like a braided salmon with crab meat and shrimp on top definitely all right so it kind of look like pancake mix now so i need to add water to it like this you should have used that stock that look good okay so there we go Ooh, that looks you should have used those juices instead of the stock well i use only a little, tiny bit of stock because i was gonna pull this in here anyway okay so just pour a little bit of that in there since you already got so much stock in it that look good I for about 10 you making mashed potatoes no i'm making french fries I told y'all i didn't feel like how you making gravy and french fries because you could dip french fries in gravy if you can dip french fries in gravy i don't want that what kind of meal is that why you make rice? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to eat it. You are. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need that much. Just pour. Why are you doing it with the spoon, baby? Just pour it in. Okay. Not all of it. That's what That's what I was doing it with the spoon. No, you can still use the jar. Don't pour it on the chicken. Just pour it. <laughs> yeah. Cause you just wanted to thicken up. Don't pour it on the chicken, though. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. Oh yeah. Next. Oh yeah. Okay, let's spray my pan though. Sorry, I got some onions in here. Oh, you still? So you gonna start scraping it again when I just said don't scrape my? I'm pan. not scraping. I'm doing a little. Don't. Okay. I'm listening. I'm listening. Don't put it on the chicken. You, okay. You just wanted to thicken up. Yeah. I just want that to mix in a little bit. No, you don't have to worry about it mixing that. You want to let it do its own thing when you put it back in the oven. Okay. All right, so now we're going back in the oven. You can put a little bit right there. Put a little bit more in? Yeah, right there. Now put it in the stove. 
and let it work its magic. So this is what it looks like before it goes in the oven. And now we're going in. Mm -mm. When I move out, I need one of these. Okay, clean up behind yourself while it's doing it. I am. Okay. All right, great job. Thank you. And here is the finished product. Got a chicken thigh with some onions and gravy. Oh, it is so good. I looked up a horoscope.